Hi guys! If you can't tell, there's a different background, same area, I just took down the backdrop. I wanted to see how this looked because we took the desk out from over there. So, now it's just this. So, if you like this better than the backdrop, let me know. This and the next video after it, I think, is going to not have the backdrop. So just let me know what you let me know what you guys think. Um, and yes, my hair is weird today. Um, this is all for another tutorial that's gonna be this weekend. But yeah, this video though is finally a review of my Coastal Scents brush roll. I am so excited to review this. I've tried it out. I've used these brushes a bunch of times. Some of them in here are actually dirty because I've used them today. So, I'm just going to get right into the review. Okay, so when you open it up, it looks like this. It says, um, Coastal Scents 22 Brush. When I first got this, I had kind of a funky scent, but that's gone away. And that's all of the brushes. Um, I will say, you do have enough room in here where you can probably put like more brushes inside of each hole like so so you definitely could fit more than 22 brushes in here just in case you were buying it and you want to use a brush roll with other things too so that was all of the brushes I'll show you guys again it's way too big for this frame but that's all of the brushes and I'm going to go through them individually, tell you what I like about them, tell you what I don't like about some of them. And, yeah. So, the first brush inside of this brush roll, I'm going to try to make this quick so this video isn't forever, is a fan brush. Looks like that. It's really, really, really soft. Um, fan brushes, if you don't know, you can use the contour. You can use the set, you know, use setting powder. There's a bunch of different um, uses for them. I've used it to highlight and to contour. Um... I like it for that reason. It's really soft. It's kind of jumbo though, but it does get a pretty decent amount of use. The next brush is dirty, and it is my favorite. Um, these don't have names on them. It just says, is it focus? It just says Coastal Scents on the um, bottom, which the only thing that sucks for is if I'm doing a tutorial, I can't really tell you guys exactly what brush I'm using. But this is my favorite brush out of it. I use it for foundation. It's a dual fiber brush, and it's kind of tapered. That's what it looks like. Um, it's really, really good for buffeting, buffing in foundation. And I, this is like my favorite brush out of the whole thing. The next one I thought was going to be my favorite brush for the foundation. And to be completely honest with you, I like it. It is really nice. It's a flat top brush. But if you can't tell, it sheds a little bit. But besides that, it's really, really soft. But I don't like using it for foundation because I found like the foundation absorbs into this faster than does that. Because I don't think this is synthetic. So I've seen people in videos say they use it for foundation. I really don't see how. But I have used it um, because it is like contouring and I have used it for setting powders and it is really 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 soft it is really nice but I just don't want to use it for foundation this next one is definitely one of my favorites it's another one of those dual fiber brushes it's like a stippling brush looks like that and if you look at it it is a little bit skinnier than say this is another stippling brush that I have it is a little bit smaller so I've used it to put on blush, highlighter, mostly cream products. I love this for my next uh, cream brush, uh, cream blushes. This next one is just your standard old foundation brush. I like using it for my cream highlighter. I use it to cream highlighter, cream contour powder. And I just put it right there. I haven't really used it for anything else. Um, it is really, really nice um, for a foundation brush. Like if I compare it to the e.l.f. one, you can see... A dramatic difference but I like it this next one um, 
isn't one of my favorites, but it is pretty soft and pretty nice. It's just an angled blush powder brush. You can use it for um, contouring, highlighting, all that type of stuff. It's really good to have in your kit, but it just doesn't stand out to me, but it is a really good brush. This next one is just a shader brush. Looks like that. Um, I like using it to do my brow bone highlight as I, you know, pat my glasses. Um, that's what I like using it for. It's big and it helps blend out all of those, like, harsh lines. So, This next one, I guess it could be used as a concealer brush. I use it to pat on color to my lid, especially cream colors. It's just like one of those flat, stiff brushes. And um, it does really good with the color tattoos. This next one, I, I don't even know. It looks like it could be a flat, like, shader brush. But you flip it, I don't know if you guys can tell, that way. And it is pretty wide. I like using it as, like, a fluffy brush to blend out lines on the crease. Because it can, like, it does get to that. And this is a really useful uh, brush. Because it is, like, pinched. And it kind of goes up and does this little fluffiness thing. I don't know if you guys can even see how it does that but I like using it to blend out the crease. This next one is just your standard smudger brush. It's really really stiff but it gets the job done. Um, this next one is just a regular shader brush. It has product on it. I like using it just to kind of put color on my lid. It is really really nice. Um, this next one is just your standard old crease brush. It's a little pinched and it's really soft. It does do really well in getting distributing the color to the crease and blending. All right, this next one is really unique. I wasn't even expecting this type of brush inside of the kit because when you see the pictures of it online, you don't really see you see some of it, but you don't really see something like this when you look at the pictures of it. If you can tell, it's a flat top crease brush and it's kind of at an angle. This is perfect for putting color like on the inner V and just working it out and it blends as you like work with it. I love this color if you're not doing a defined crease and just kind of want that perfect like blend out look. This does it and I'm so glad it was in here. It was a very pleasant surprise. This next one is actually I don't have a lot of crease brushes like this. It's a little stubbly guy. It's a lot smaller than this one in shape of, like, crease. See? So this one, it's a lot more stiff, and it really deposits the color very nicely. Because it's a little bit more stiff, you can pack on the color, and I like it. This next one is also pretty unique. I don't know if you can tell. It's another crease brush. My camera's in focus. There we go. But if you can tell, it's tapered. Excuse my nails. So it's really, really good for just getting even a defined crease because it puts the color there and then it also blends it out because it's tapered. Very nice. This next one, I'm guessing, is supposed to be a concealer brush. I've been using it for my Lorac Liquid Luster. If you can't tell, it's covered in it. It's really, really good for packing on color, liquid eyeshadows, liquid liners, anything like that. Works wonders for these next two, as I drop one, are like the little gems of this palette, of this palette, of this roll. You got two precision brushes. They can be used for lips, for eyes. I've been using them for eyes to kind of put on the colors on my outer V area and blending them out. See if you can tell, there one's a little bit smaller than the other. I'm guessing this was probably supposed to be a lip brush. But this does amazing for depositing color onto your lid. You can also use it for a lip brush too, but that's what I've been loving. And then you get three, and all three of them are dirty. Sorry about that. Um, angled brushes. I've been loving this one. I don't know if you guys have seen on Instagram. I've been doing a lot of colored wing liner. I've been loving this one to do that with. Um, the medium size one. I've been loving to do my brows. And this one also is really, really nice for um, liner. I love that you get three different size angled brushes. It's just awesome. And this next one, I'm probably never going to use. 
it it's kind of odd because this has so many awesome things and then you just get this it's literally like a foam I know it's called a smudger but I don't use this to smudge really I probably would never use this maybe to smudge out eyeliner it's just kind of holding up spots I found no uses for this I know a lot of people use them when they come on like the ends of like eyeliners that come with little things like this but it just kind of holds up a little spot in there and I'm not really that happy about that so that is all of the brushes in my Coastal Sense 22 brush roll and after showing you them I can finally tell you guys what I completely think of this this cost me, I think, around 30 something dollars. It was on sale. I'll put the link below to it on the Coastal Sense website. You can also get it on Amazon. Um, it took forever to get here, but that's not their fault. Um, but it's perfect. Like, <laughs> I'm not, I, most of my reviews, I like things, but um, this is worth the money. It is awesome. If you're a makeup artist and you really just want to invest in a good brush roll, but you kind of look at like Sigma and all those other like lines and you're like, oh, that's so much money, you get a lot, a lot, as I shake the camera, you get a lot in this little roll. It's 22 brushes for 30 something dollars. It's like, I think I did the math, it was like 150 per brush. So rather than going out and trying to hunt down elf brushes at Target or anywhere else they're fine to order them from the elf website, you get a variety of different shapes different uses like I was like so shocked like I ordered it thinking it was just gonna be like shaded brushes a foundation brush like I looked at the pictures and they did look nice and I was like oh yeah I'll invest 30 something dollars in it and then when I got it I was like wow this was so worth the money like you get a lot in here like alone this one I was just like I didn't expect this one. This is something that you would probably, like, get from, like, Sigma or something. Um, like, it does have a lot of unique brushes. This one, um, the, the crease brush is very unique. Both, like, both crease brushes are very unique. Um, the blending brushes. You do get a lot of unique brushes. You do get a variety of brushes. They give you a good, like, three brushes alone to use for foundation. They give you, like... I think it was one, two, three, four crease brushes. They give you a variety of shapes and sizes for shader brushes. You get so many angled brushes and little precision brushes. You, I've done my whole face for, since I got this, about two weeks now on just these brushes alone. I haven't touched my other brushes. I've used these, washed these, constantly used these. I could seriously just do my makeup alone on just these brushes. So if you're paying 30 something dollars to get brushes that you could use on yourself personally, you can get them if you can use them on clients. I'm getting another roll of these just so I can use just for my kit. But I wanted to get this and try this out and see if I liked it before I invested in getting one for my kit because I could definitely see myself using just these brushes. Um, so if you guys are in the market to find, you know, cheap but good brushes, because that is hard to find, you go on um, Amazon and you type in makeup brushes and you look at some of them and you're just like, oh, like you can tell those aren't good quality brushes. You go on eBay, like you can, like I've ordered a set of eBay, eBay brushes before and they were nice, but I felt like all of them were like flat shader brushes and stuff like that. You don't really get a good variety of like crease brushes, like for the price of this brush roll you get a good variety and I really think it's worth the money because you get a good amount of variety which is what you see in like the higher higher end more expensive brush rolls so yeah I hope this video helped you guys out I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye